Okay, hi, so it's me, Beetlefan09, or the main maker's history here, to guide you on one of my um, music hauls. It's part of my music Amazon haul that is in progress at the moment. So, um, yeah, let's start. I only got a few CDs, which I know is great to me, but again, you don't have to get it every time you go shopping. So, what I'm trying to do, looking at here, I'm actually not looking at my music i'm actually looking at the screen so let's start with the best 60 song in the world two yeah it's an album that it's one of five i think five four or five you can see the fifth one so we only have four of them yeah it's very interesting. It doesn't include Beatles or Rolling. Uh, it doesn't include the Beatles in any of these ones, but well, it's probably expensive at all. So why was the monkeys sharing the Christmas? Three great songs. What songs are like? Well, I don't know what. For some reason, in a lot of these have Body Holly's on it. And if you don't know, Body Holly died in the um the day the music died, which was in 1959, just before the 60s. BG. Words. I don't know if I've explained this before, but I'm, I, I like the BGs. I actually like more of the early stuff, you know, horizontal idea BGs first. I prefer that over Saturday Night Live, Children's of the World, whatever the other ones are called. A bit disc. It's a two disc. What did I get around? The Kings of oh, the Kings. I want to get a compilation of theirs eventually. And at the end, Fleetwood Mac before they did rumors. It's a good album. Just show me, just to show you it. Just track listing there. Not a lot of, in fact, ooh, yeah, not a lot of. Just you know, things inside. You know, I don't really want to pull it out. We have disc one, and it's one of those weird ones, which isn't weird in fact, but my mom said it's weird. It's it pulls the clips instead of their bash, so it's better. Just a little bit. Yeah, that was words that was going in the background. Then it's now what I call 60s. Now, <laughs> I know that now existed before, you know, something like my mom told me. This was like a thing I remember, like my school using it. My mom even had a few. It's like these compilations. There's so many things today. Um, they're about the latest charts. So they do have some compilations of things from the past. Like this is a 60s one. I'm gonna get a 70s one. So yeah, I am into the 70s. So yeah. three discs this time. Firstly, this one. This one. Um, Elvis Presley. Uh, Simon Garfunkel. Like Simon like Garfunkel. Just so that you know. Um, yeah, my dad likes them. Um, animals. It's the okay. Stand by me, great. Run away, I'm a believer. Good vibrations. Uh, yeah. Oh head. Can you do that? Then we go on to six disc two, and we start off with Moody Blues. Jenny Lane, who was in the Moody Blues, was eventually Wings, which was a band with Paul McCartney, who was a Beatles member. Okay, I can't get this too soon, so yeah. I don't think you can see, but both didn't like Rolling Stone. Pete is on the Rolling Stone. It's the best song ever, followed up by I Can Get No Satisfaction by the Rolling Stone. I have this sort of conspiracy theory, or it's just a coincidental, but I just call it a conspiracy theory, that in fact, the Rolling Stone are trying to promote things with Rolling Stone in it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's, it doesn't really have a lot of evidence outside that. Oh, yeah, for all of a sudden again, Alina Franklin. Oh, no. Mark of uh, Dancing in the Street, covered by Mick Jagger. And, um, yeah, my, and Dave Brown. So, yeah. Guy Pocket. Um, I think I was used to. So, um, feeling good and. Frank Sinatra, 
they don't have my way on this one, which is odd because they have Pierce and Nacho in here. They wonder the Kings again. It plays with the Portman. That was covered by the Beatles. I'm a big Beatles fan. So don't know. Then put the Mac, Chuck Berry, Johnny Cash. Yeah. Good. So that was my Beatles CDs I got. George has a Let It Roll. This is full of some of his best songs. You know, Got My Mind Set On You, Give Me Love. Let It Roll. Let It Roll. Oh, I'm, I'm just giving you live ones. All Things Must Pass. Old Old Years Go, Any Road. This is Love, Marvel Blues, What Is Life, Rising Sun, Where We Were Fab. Blow Away, Cheer Down. I don't want to do it, Isn't It a Pity? Or Glorious and Centuries, which isn't a song. Oh, very interesting. I only, you know, get out, pick it up if you like the Beatles. Uh, another thing I think you should pick up if you're really into the Beatles. If not, um, don't recommend getting a 2CD one if you want to get enough of it. 2C1, get all the best. I don't know what that one, but Pure McCartney, the 4 disc edition, which is action from Japan. If you believe it, well, the track listing is all his best songs, except for Egypt's, with, except for not all of his best songs, because Egypt Station wasn't out at the time. Four discs. Let me show you why it's from Japan. This, my little friend, is, look, it's in Japanese. I'll give you more clues, but, anyway, I'm not looking at it anymore, so if it gets, no, I don't worry, so, pitch. Pictures. And um, and things like that, like all the songs. It's like a book. Yeah, things like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then we are we get chat now. Some of these are on my dad's car. The first two are. I mean, I can't really listen to them because we are not really allowed to go outside, so we have it. Come on, this kind of raw thing you do, so that would do. Archives or not? A disc clue. Now, here's another clue. Just get me a big black. Can you see that? S H M C D. That's the same in Japan, I think. See, I'm just trying to get. Sorry if my fingers are in the way, I'm trying to get this in. It's kind of hard, but I think maybe I should just swap the CD in. I finally did. Yeah. Um. Well, I'll get that in just so you don't worry. So, goodbye. Oh, I did forget something. Um, it's something, um, that. It, it was just a random thing I bought. It is, just get it. Yeah, um, this is my thing. Sorry for being, sorry for being there, but Elton John's Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. And I am, oh my goodness. I've seen him live, in fact, if you don't know. Yeah, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, and I want to mention if you unsubscribe and you're watching this, um, I'd like to know why. It's probably because I went from uploading Rainmakers or not, but I just wanted to let you know why I would like to know. But bye bye.